Well, hello everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, September the 30th. And this is Screw Conveyor by Pessel, or Pissel, 3.47 megabytes to download. It is three slots on console. I have three versions, if you could say versions here. It is one mod. It is basically, it's um, an auger, a ground auger if you want to say uh, a conveyor a screw conveyor uh, to pick up bulk product now we'll talk about that first of all we'll find it under tools and belt systems and there it is the screw conveyor it's called six thousand uh, dollars five horsepower three miles per hour Woo! Uh, 600 liters that's we'll we'll talk about that in a minute 500 kilograms but it will only pick up and convey wheat, barley, oats, uh, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, and corn. Those are the eight things. Eight things that it will do. It will move. It won't. It won't work with anything else. Let's have a look at it in the store area. You have the 5 meter and the 6.5 meter, a 1500 bucks extra for the length. Colors, the design color is the uh, very tippy top. Only 80 bucks, not too bad actually. The design color or the main color, uh, 80 bucks is that. Um, all, of course, all the standard uh, color palette. Another 80 for the um, wheel braces I guess you could say the uh, my words have escaped me and then uh, only extra 10 bucks to change the rim color right all right so there we have that um let's hop in here so to transport it quickly let's get our help window on there we go to transport it quickly um you just hook it up like so to anything that has a uh, a hitch I believe it looks like a pin hitch indeed it looks like a pin hitch um, just for the sake of doing this let's uh, let's make sure it hooks up to a truck because typically or not typically but sometimes a pickup truck is used to um, transport items such like these and whoa 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 I guess if I would have parked the tractor in a different spot it might have been a little easier now it's not looking oh there we go yes so no problem uh, truck will transport it as well so very good uh, the operation of it need, it needs to be unhooked in order to operate it this is fertilizer it uh, does not pick up fertilizer as I found out quite quickly now let's move this out of the way for a moment and drop that down let's let's take a look at this it is a vehicle in the sense that you can enter it and once you have entered it, you do need to start at R1 and square. And that's how you can move it around. Then you can drive it around like a vehicle, as you see here. Forward is um, the hitch end is forward. All right, let's look at our options here. L1, unfold conveyor belt. Now what that does is it folds away that hitch. So now that the hitch is gone, it's not going to interfere with anything. L1, turn on conveyor belt. Well, that will start it. As you can see, it has already picked up the wheat uh, pretty quickly there. We can turn that off for a moment. Uh, L1 and right stick will adjust the height so we can go as low as that and as high as that. So that's pretty nice. That actually will probably fit into just about nearly anything now as you can see as I come over top of this trailer I get the trigger start overloading and it will 
empty itself that's where the capacity comes in it does hold a certain amount of capacity right so let's hop out of this one this one's exactly the same now uh, turn off conveyor belt so let's empty it so you see 587 liters that's 97 percent let's just empty empty it out first so in order to you can move it around so in order for it to work kind of all around uh, you can set it up turn it on so it's on and it automatically fills right you got that so as we jump out it has to be over top of a trailer so let's back that trailer back up again it's it's a little bit tricky i guess you could say but it's uh, it, it is, but it isn't. So in order for it to continuously work, right, so that you can leave it, you should have, for one thing, your, uh, where is it now, uh, your automatic, hmm, I always have it on because I'd like it your, oh dear, where is it, let's go to the top here here's at the top we have the automatic engine start you want that off automatic engine start you want that off it's under vehicle control automatic engine start off which means that when you get into a vehicle see this one's still running it's running if you have the automatic engine uh, start on as soon as you exit a vehicle it will turn off and as soon as you enter a vehicle it will turn on uh, this is important with these types of augers because it is an engine there it, it does have a motor and it runs the engine so if you have automatic engine turned off, engine start turned off you have to r1 and square to turn off the engine it won't automatically start when you get in. You have to go R1 and square to start it. Understand? That's just a little thing that will help you with using this because, let's see here, stop. So it's running. So it's still, if I get out, it's still running. Right now it's running. And if I go in it and I go to unload, starting to unload i can unget out if i had automatic engine start activated it would have turned off and it would have stopped uh, would stop unloading i would have had to have been physically in the auger the entire time this way it will run until it runs out of product or the trailer is full and if we back the trailer up a little bit to just to make sure that uh it is catching that so it's going to sit there and uh run uh until one of those things or until you get too far away actually and that's a really nice large pickup area as you can see it was picking up stuff from quite a ways away now unfortunately uh, this does not pick up anything other than those grain crops it doesn't pick up silage it won't pick up chaff uh, or grass so at this point it's 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 very limited in what what the usefulness is now if you have one of those silos that you just dump the stuff on the ground uh, this is going to be very useful for that uh, because it's cheap it works it seems to have a nice large area of operation shall we say or area of pickup its pickup area is quite quite large so very nice that way i just would have liked to have seen maybe an option for a multi fruit one that will pick up anything we have we have a few i think um but anyways that's that is it that's the test it seems to for what it is it works excellent and that's the screw conveyor by pistol 3.47 megabytes to download it is three slots for the first one on console thank you for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember
it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.